The objective is to compare fractions greater than 1 by reasoning using benchmark fractions. Let's read this problem. Barbara needed 13 quarter cups of flour. Her friend Jeanette needed 9 halves cups of flour. And her friend Robert needed 3 and 6 8 cups. Let's compare the amounts using a number line. Let's look at these numbers. We have 13 fourths, 9 halves, and 3 and 6 eighths. Now with 13 fourths, we know that 13 fourths as a mixed number, well, we count by 4 fourths. 4 fourths, 8 fourths, 12 fourths. And then it would be 1 more fourth to be equal to 13 fourths. 12 fourths is equal to 3. And we put it together with the 1 fourth to get 3 and 1 fourth. With 9 halves, 2 goes into 9 four whole times with that remainder of 1, so it's 4 and 1 half. If we were to decompose it, it would be 8 halves and 1 half. And 3 and 6 eighths actually is easy to see in that we would just have 3 holes there, and then we'd also be talking about 6 eighths. So we'll leave that as a mixed number. So on our number line then, we have 3, we have a 4, and then we also have a 3. So we'll mark the whole numbers 3, 4, and then also 5. Let's place 3 and 1 fourth first. So in between 3 and 4, we'll break it apart into 4 parts there. We'll go ahead and mark 3 and 1 fourths, and then that there is Barbara's. For Jeanette, at 4 and 1 half, in between 4 and 5, sure. Just draw one line there, and then we can finish dividing that whole into four parts as well. For 3 and 6 eighths, 3 and 6 eighths actually is equal to 3 and 3 fourths. I can break it apart into eighths if you want to see that. And then we have 3, 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths. That is 3 and 6 eighths, which is um, Robert. So that's Robert. And we'll write that name in there. And we'll also write in the name for four and a half, who is Jeanette. And then so when we're comparing these ones here and placing them onto the number line, the smallest amount would be furthest to the left, Barbara's, and then it would be Robert's amount, and then it would be Jeanette's amount for the flower. So if we were to compare them, they would go within that order. In some instances, we really should be putting these so that they are the same as they were given to us with the 13 force that was given to us and also the 9 halves. We did have to convert them to make it easier to place them onto the number line. We made them all mixed numbers, so it would be easier to see. Let's work through another problem. Here we have 58 eighths, 7 and 5 eighths, 30 fourths to place onto a number line. Let's go ahead and decompose 58 eighths so that we can write it as a mixed number. It'll make it easier to place it onto the number line. Count by 8 eighths. We have 8 eighths, 16 eighths, 24 eighths, 32 eighths, 40 eighths, 48 eighths. 56 eighths, and 56 eighths is equal to 7 wholes. It would just be 2 more eighths, so 58 eighths is equal to 7 and 2 eighths. We also had 7 and 5 eighths, which is already a mixed number, so we do not need to do anything with it. And then we have 30 fourths. 4 goes into 30 7 whole times, with the remainder of 2. So it's 7 and 2 fourths, which is also equal to 7 and 1 half. 7 and 1 half is easier to place onto the number line than um, 7 and 2 fourths. We could make these all the same denominators as well. So this would be 7 and 4 eighths, and 7 and 5 eighths, 
it actually makes it easier to compare them when we have those same values for it. So we know it's all in between 7 and 8 for the whole numbers. And then we'll continue by breaking that apart into 8 parts. That's halfway in between is the 30 fourths or the 7 and 1 half. We have 7 and 2 eighths right here, which was also equal to 58 eighths. And then the other one we had was 7 and 5 eighths. And 7 and 5 eighths was right here. So the order goes 58 eighths was less than 30 fourths was less than 7 and 5 eighths if I was to compare them. Would it be easy to compare these? You might answer no because the denominators are different. It also might be easier to compare them if they were mixed numbers. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and rewrite these as mixed numbers. Pause the video while you do your work. What did you rewrite these as mixed numbers as? Did you break them apart correctly? That 29 sevenths is 4 and 1 sevenths. 31 eighths. is actually equal to 3. And 7 eighths. And then so, 4 and 1 seventh is definitely bigger or larger. So that 29 sevenths is bigger than 31 eighths. Read that comparison sentence with me again. 29 sevenths is greater than 31 eighths. Again, what we did there is that we compared them by putting them into mixed numbers. In some instances, it would also help to write them with a common denominator. In this case, we didn't have to because we already knew that 4 was bigger than the 3 here. Let's compare these two here. We have 43 eighths and 35 6. Let's go ahead and rewrite them as mixed numbers. 43 eighths is decomposed like that there. 40 eighths is equal to what whole number? Right, 5. And we put it together with the 3 eighths. 35 6, count by 6 6. 6, 6, 12, 6, 18, 6, 24, 6, 36, and that's it. That's 5 holes. And then we have 5, 6. Hey, look! Our whole portions of our mixed numbers are the same. So then what we can do is we can just compare these two here. So we have 3 eighths with 5 6. What do we know about 3 eighths with 5 6 when we think of our benchmark fraction of 1 half? Oh, 3 eighths actually is less than 1 half. Whereas 5 6 is more than 1 half. So that 5 and 3 eighths is less than 5 and 5 6. Therefore, 43 eighths is less than 35 six. That's what we are comparing here. Read that with me again. 43 eighths is less than 35 six.